I can divide my career into three categories, television, film, and Broadway. Let's start with the most prestigious and the one that pays the least. Broadway, Broadway, I love it so. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Seth Rudetsky. How about that? Do you all know Seth from his radio show that he does every day, Seth's My Big Fat Broadway? Do you know him? Not at all. It's on Sirius FM every single day. Uh, it's Sirius XM. I don't know, I never listened to it. Anyway, <laughs> let's see. Who in the audience has seen the Mel Brooks movie, Young Frankenstein? Did you say? Okay. In 2008, Mel Brooks's movie, Young Frankenstein, was turned into Mel Brooks's Broadway musical, Young Frankenstein, and Cloris Leachman played the iconic character of the housekeeper in the movie. She really wanted to do the part in the musical, but she was 80 years old, and um, Mel and everybody didn't think she could handle it because there was a lot of stamina. Then she got cast in Dancing with the Stars where she had to learn 58 dances in six weeks. Way to go, Cloris! <laughs> well, I know, so fabulous. Well, fortunately for me, I got cast in the musical, and I got to play Frau Blucher, and I got to work with the legendary Mel Brooks. I was really intimidated with Mel, um, although he was fabulous, but he came from improvisation, and of course I come from improvisation. Um, but I was nervous to change lines in front of him, and we were in previews and a couple of lines weren't working. So I called my friends, Nathan Lane and uh, Marty Short, who had done the producers with him on Broadway, and I asked them what I should do. And they said, don't tell Mel you're going to change a line. Do it in the previews, and if the audience laughs, he'll let you keep it in. So this is what we did. We're in previews, and we come to the scene at the castle where Frau Blucher opens the door and on the other side is Dr. Frankenstein and the beautiful, sexy, voluptuous, think, big bosom, <laughs> Pamela Anderson, his assistant. And Frau Blucher says, Good evening and welcome, Dr. Frankenstein. And who, may I ask, is this lovely young creature? This is my new laboratory assistant, Inga. Assistant, huh? How do you do? That's what was written, and this is how I changed it. Good evening. <laughs> and welcome, Dr. Frankenstein. And who, may I ask, is this lovely young creature? This is my new laboratory assistant, Inga. Assistant, huh? So that's what they're calling them these days. <laughs> <laughs> How do you do? <laughs> well, the audience roared, and Mel Brooks came back to the dressing room afterwards, and he said to me, it's in, but no credit. <laughs> <laughs> it's really a true story. Well, Mel wrote a beautiful song for me from an iconic line in the musical. He sat in the theater every night for six weeks while we were in previews, and I got to sing this song to him every night. Frau Blucher! <sighs> yes, I am that some form or something. And that music, that it was you playing that violin. Yes, music that soothes the soul when words are useless. Your grandfather used to play that exact same tune to soothe the creatures he created. And you played it to lead us down here to this laboratory. Yes! So that was your cigar smoldering in the ashtray. Yes! Then you were not just his housekeeper. Yes! Then you and Victor were. Yes! Yes! Say it! Say it! He was my boyfriend! <laughs> Buzz, your boyfriend? Yes! <laughs> Love comes when you least suspect it. Love dances in on a whim. I thought maybe I could direct it, but I never expected 
a guy like him. He was a bully on the brute. He was as crazy as a coot, but I didn't give a hoot. He was my boyfriend. <laughs> With every woman he would flirt, he always treated me like dirt, but I was happy to be hurt. He was my boyfriend. I was as pure as a virgin meadow, lying with Victor in the gloam. Then he turned to me, that charmer, whispered, let's play farmer. <laughs> and plowed me till the cows came home. <laughs> <laughs> he was a monster and a beast. His midnight bangings never ceased. It didn't faze me in the least. He was my boyfriend. I'll never forget the first time I met Victor. It was on the village green at the annual Bach beer festival, where every beer cost a bark. <laughs> I was an innocent young lamb, and he was a dirty old goat. We were made for each other. <laughs> All of a sudden, he took out his paraphernalia and shouted, let's play croquet. And off to the field we went. He carried his hoops and mallets, and I carried his balls. <laughs> What a festival, fun and games all day long. Archery, badminton, potato sack. Victor won the three-legged race all by himself. <laughs> it was love at first sight. He was the one that I gave my heart to, but we never wed even so. If I mention wedlock, he put me in a headlock. When I asked to be his wife, he stabbed me with a kitchen knife. Ah, where did the good times go? If he had an angry fit, I was the first thing that he hit. But I didn't give a shit.